Hello everybody, hope you're doing alright, I hope you're keeping safe and of course I hope you keep insane. Very quickly, quick warning at the front end of this video, it's a cheese warning. Uh, yes, this is a very cheesy video, a very cheesy sentiment, it's going to sound very cliched and a bit airy-fairy. I tried to think of a different way of presenting it but couldn't, but as I do think it is potentially uh, helpful advice, or helpful experience at least, then uh, yeah, I thought, oh, screw it, I'll make the video anyway, and uh, if I overdose you with camembert then my sincerest apologies. Um, before I do actually get into the crux of today's video, I'm very, very aware that today, uh, presuming I get this video out today, is the last of the month, and it's also the last Friday of the month, which means payday for an awful lot of people. Now, anyone who's been with the channel long enough knows that on payday, I'd like to uh, make a quick video and say, don't screw it up. Um, I screwed up so many paydays, got paid, you know, all happy, all excited, brilliant, yeah, work's finished, great, let's go to the pub and then have a gamble and then end up waking up tomorrow morning having done most of my wages if not all my wages deep regret skint for another month right we all know the cycle we've probably all been there seen that done that and got the proverbial t-shirt so what i'm going to talk about now which i talked about in a previous video give me one minute right it's pre-commitment now this isn't some again airy fairy hippie kind of you know new age sentiment it's not something where you have to sit there in front of the mirror and repeat multiple things to yourself and you know summon some sort of you know other inner spirit or something like that it's nothing like that right pre-commitment basically means do something now if you have got paid today or even if you haven't it might be useful do something now that means when you have free time either tonight at the weekend whatever and you've got some money in your pocket that you're not able to waste it gambling right and that could be as simple as leaving your wallet at home if you go to the pub or it could mean that you Transfer all your, your spare money, um, borrow a little bit for a couple of pints tonight, into your partner's account, friend's account, family's account, whatever, someone you trust, right? It could be that you put a block in place um, on your card or at whatever gambling establishment it is that you're likely to use uh, when you finish work today. Anything like that, right? Pre-commitment is not some sort of airy-fairy concept. It's just practical stuff you can do so that when you wake up tomorrow morning, you don't have that horrible sinking punch in the stomach feeling that you've done it once more, that you've spunked all your wages and you're going to be skinned for another month. Because trust me, I've been there, done that, and I've got the t-shirt more times than I care to remember. In fact, I've probably got a whole wardrobe full of those proverbial t-shirts. Uh, of course, I presume it's a proverbial wardrobe as well. So we've got a bit abstract. So crack on with the subject of today's video. Now, that I went to the gym today. Fairly unremarkable, except if you're a follower of this channel, you will have seen um, my weight fluctuate immensely over the sort of three or four years, or however long, it's pretty longer than that, isn't it, that I've been doing this. Um, I'm very good at going to the gym. I'm not very good at sticking with it. Um, that's a, you know, totally uh, honest, honest thing there. Um, but it did get me thinking of this rather cheesy but very valid sentiment. Uh, I went to the gym, I'm currently a bit out of shape, a bit unfit, but unhealthy, overweight. Um, and I went and I did a, a pretty solid workout. I'm only just sort of getting over it now. I think my heart rate's probably just about returned to normal. Um, and while I was there, I saw people in all sorts of shapes. Uh, lots of people who were in worse shape than me. Obviously, a significant number of people who are in significantly better shape than me. Uh, apologies for the rain, by the way. Not a lot I can do about that. Um, and so there's people in all sorts of parts of their fitness, health, weight loss, you know, um, training, toning, journey, whatever you want to, whatever you base it at the gym for, people at different stages of their journeys. Now, I am not the, the fattest and out of shape I've ever been, I'm certainly not the fittest I've ever been, so I'm somewhere probably, I would say, in the, you know, in the middle. But, this is the beginning of my journey, okay? And I left the gym, having had a good workout, and I know I'm going to ache tomorrow, and I looked in the mirror, and I look exactly the same as I did left before I left the gym, maybe just a bit redder and a bit sweatier. Okay, so nothing has immediately impacted, you know, my physical appearance. I haven't suddenly lost my beer gut built up over years by going to the gym once. And why am I talking about this? It's not because I want any praise for going to the gym, um, although hopefully this will be the start of something, uh, you know, a bit more healthy. It, what the reason is, is that the same can be applied to gambling. The first day that I stopped gambling, nothing changed. Nothing changed. Maybe I slept a little better, but generally speaking, nothing changed. My debts were all pretty much all still there. They hadn't gone overnight. The stress was there. I've still got as many grey hairs and bald spot as I had before. Um, nothing really changed. Any relationships I'd damaged, any, any issues I'd caused myself from gambling were all still there. And they were still there on the second day I didn't gamble. They were still there a week later. Um, 
And the point is this, is that things, these things don't fix overnight. In the same way that I can't fix years of drinking too much and eating unhealthily by going to the gym for a couple of hours on one day, you cannot fix, and you should not expect to be able to fix, uh, you know, months, years, a lifetime of a gambling addiction by going without for one day. However, and I'm going to totally butcher this famous Chinese quote, someone once said the best, t p t uh, the best time to plant a tree was 30 years ago, the second best time is today. And again, as cheesy as it is, it is very true. If you don't start your journey today, then you're never going to start it. Yes, if you'd stopped gambling 10 years ago, you'd probably already be in far better financial shape. Your relationships would have possibly, some of them would have repaired themselves and all the rest of your credit rating would have recovered and maybe you wouldn't have gone quite as bald as I'm going. But, you know, if you ha you know, that's happened. You can't do anything about that now. The money's gone and the, the damage you've done to whatever is done. If you start today, then you in 10 years' time will be in the position you wish you were in today. Now, that's a bit confusing, but I hope you get what I mean. Like I said, this is a bit of a cheese alert, isn't it? It does sound incredibly, um, you know, motivational speaking. And, and it's, I, I promise you I'm trying not to give off that vibe. And I'm certainly not trying to tell you what to do. Um, never in any position to do that. I'm just saying, yeah, you may go a week without gambling. And, yeah, you might start to feel a couple of improvements. You know, you might be sleeping a little bit better. You know, maybe if you, you know, if you do it from today, if you have do get paid to die, I know not everyone does, but if you do, and you do it from today, maybe you will notice that a week into the month you're not skint already. So you will start to notice the small improvements. And the bigger improvements, I promise you, do come further down the line. But... Don't expect to go one day without gambling and suddenly, the lid, you know, you know, the, the, all your problems go away and the lid is lifted and suddenly everything's brilliant because it's simply not going to happen. Like I say, in the same way you can't undo years of abuse to your body, you can't undo years of abuse to your mind, to your finances and to those around you simply by one good day of non-gambling. I hope that makes sense. I hope that wasn't too cheesy. Um, you can take the peg off your nose now. Um, for everyone, have a great weekend. Like I say, um, look after yourselves. Do some of the pre-commitment I spoke about. Um, really, really useful. Like I say, not some airy-fairy concept, but actually physical things you can do. So, like I say, not for you now, not even for you tonight when you fancy a, a drink and a gamble or whatever you want to do, but for you tomorrow when you wake up in the morning and you can wake up and go, actually, I didn't do my bollocks yesterday. I didn't lose all my wages yesterday. And you can have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay sane, everybody. All the best and speak to you soon. Cheers.